And BBC, if anyone from BBC is watching this, I promise you, it is a matter of time, a matter of time before there are horror stories. Hi, it's me again. And if you've been watching this channel recently, you know I've got a bit of a thing about these customer care visits that Capita are going to start giving to OAPs who currently do not have a TV license. And it does concern me a little bit. I made a video on it. I'll put a link below. You can watch the first video I did on it. But stories like this really concern me. So let's take a little look at it and then we'll have a bit of a chat as always, shall we? Fears for mental health of elderly as BBC heavies visit homes in license row. The BBC is starting to call on non-payers to provide dedicated support and information to get licensed. But campaign group Silver Voices has written to Director General Tim Davey concerned at the impact the move will have on thousands of vulnerable people, including those with dementia and other chronic conditions as staff turn up unannounced. So it just makes my blood boil a bit thinking about that. I mean, they're calling them customer care visits and they're saying these operatives have been specially trained to deal with these vulnerable people. They're not. They're the standard Capita TV licensing goons that get sent out to intimidate people into paying for something they may not require or getting them a fine, getting them in trouble, whatever, because they don't like to lose. They don't like to have their little egos bruised. That's why I always say, just close the door in their faces. If one knocks on your door, you say, hello, who are you? TV licensing, bye, shut the door. Nice and polite, but firm. Well, when you read that sentence there, when it says, concerned at the impact the move will have on thousands of vulnerable people, including those with dementia and other chronic conditions. I'm sorry, there's no way these capita goons are trained to deal properly with people with dementia. They shouldn't be calling on those households. How do you think that's going to go? When are the horror stories going to start? Because I bet it won't take long. It only takes one rogue TV license inspector, customer care operative, whatever you want to bloody call them. It only takes one rogue one that wants his 20 quid, 25 quid, whatever they get commissioned that day to stitch someone up with dementia and now we've got a news story and the BBC have got another fire they've got to fight. This is wrong and this is going to end badly for the BBC. I can see it. I can see it, can't you? Pensioners visited by staff from Capital, which runs TV licensing, have been advised to politely show them the door by Silver Voices director, Dennis Reed, who said the teams are uninformed heavies. As I say, I have spoken to Dennis Reed, and maybe he got that from me, just being polite and closing the door firm but fair, and there's nothing they can do. We've all been saying it for a long time. But if you've got your nan or your mum, whatever, and they have you know, a bit of an illness situation going on, are they going to just close the door, or are they going to be coerced into having a conversation with these heavies? It's a really, really worrying situation, I think. So Dennis Reid went on to say, so-called customer care officers are being used by the BBC to tighten the screw on the hundreds of thousands of over 75s who have been unable to pay the licence fee. They are said to be trained in dealing with vulnerable people who may be living with dementia or other serious health conditions. We would like to know how they have been trained and what extra support they will be providing. We have advised our members they do not have to engage with these staff. He said, if the BBC really cared, it would extend the enforcement amnesty indefinitely. A TV licensing spokesman said, Staff have had training in supporting older customers from organisations including the Alzheimer's Society. These are not enforcement visits. Now, you may not be calling them enforcement visits because you're trying to sell a licence, but that is what an enforcement visit is. You're just taking a more softly, softly approach. But I guarantee it's the same people you use for your enforcement visit that you're using for these customer care visits, isn't it, TV licensing spokesman? It must be. You don't have the ability to recruit that many staff that quick and train them and everything when you've already got staff that can do it. And the problem is these staff want their commission. That's why they're doing the job. They want to earn money. They've got families to feed and everything. They want their commission. And I'm in a situation you know, where I am in this zone, that I hear a lot more stories about these TV licensing goons, enforcers, whatever you want to call them, than most people would hear. So I hear all of the horror stories. And if it's the same people knocking on doors of vulnerable elderly people that may have some mental health disorders, it scares me. It scares me a lot. And BBC, if anyone from the BBC is watching this, I promise you, it is a matter of time, a matter of time before there are horror stories. Because if you've got a vulnerable 
parent, vulnerable nan, whatever. Many have cameras set up. We did on my nan's property, we had cameras set up so that if anyone called, we'd know who it was. Not like a ring door, but like proper CCTV, but I could dial into it on an app and all that. You know, and if they get caught stitching someone up or making a sale when they're not needed or trying to file for a fine or just being pushy, it's going to be one of the biggest PR disasters you've had in a very long time, BBC. It really, really is. So you need to be worried about this and you need to rein in your goons ASAP before that happens because it's going to happen. So what do you think about this story? Do you think I'm right that it's literally a matter of time until there's a huge PR disaster coming for the BBC. Not that they're any stranger to huge PR disasters anyway, are they? Well, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.